When you want to integrate your HX stomp into your pedal board, you quickly run into one of two problems. Either you use the Line 6 power supply and now you have to scramble for another free power outlet, extension cord and so on. Or you want to use your existing pedal board power supply, but chances are it cannot supply the 900 milliamps the HX stomp requires. Here is where the V2's DC8 comes in. The DC8 features 8 outputs in 3 isolated groups. Isolated outputs A, B and a group of 6 daisy chained outputs. Output A and B can supply voltages of 9, 12 or 18 volts. These can be switched individually in the back of the device. Both these outputs can supply up to 1000 milliamps each. More than enough to power the HX stomp. The other six outlets are fixed 9 volts and can supply up to 300 milliamps each. The total power supply of the device cannot exceed 2000 milliamps. Now let's see if this is a truly isolated power supply. You can check this at home if you have a multimeter with continuity function. Continuity means that the two points in a circuit you are measuring have a connection. If there is a connection, the multimeter will beep, flash, whatever, and you know that the two points tested are not isolated from each other. As you can see here, output A and B are isolated from each other and also from the 6 output block. The other 6 outputs share a common ground connection. Everything works as advertised so far. There is only one last hurdle to take before we can power up our HX stomp. Standard DC power cables have a 2.1 mm plug on each side, but the Helix has a 2.5 mm power jack. This can be remedied with one of these handy 2.1 to 2.5 mm adapters. No polarity change needed, just send a negative as usual. Now let's see how the DC8 holds up in a real pedal board scenario. We are trying to power the HX Stomp, a one control loop switcher, an Echoplex preamp clone and an OCD clone. As you can see, the latter three pedals run off the daisy chain block with no problem. Now let's see if the DC8 can handle the HX stomp. As you can see, everything works perfectly. I used this setup for a few hours and had no problems with the unit getting hot or introducing noise or hum to the signal. A quick aside, on the bottom of the unit it says designed in Germany. This leads me to believe that this is the same unit as the Parma PWT-08. The specs and layout are identical except for the metal lid on the Palmer that lets you screw down the unit down to something. The Palmer is almost double the price.